Okay, so if you're following news about Unity recently, you see that Unity is going full EA mode and a lot of people are planning to overthrow it. So if you don't know what happened, Unity just released something called Runtime Fee that will charge game devs money every time someone downloads their game. What the? So today we'll discuss about this change, how it impacts game dev and society, and in the name of my country, glorious communist party. Wait a minute, it is not my real country. This is. I'll be giving some of my suggestions to turn this whole EA policy into garbage. Okay, so when I started researching this topic, I saw a lot of people planning to give up their game dev dreams because Unity has changed the pricing plans. So now I'll give you some reason why you shouldn't do that. The first reason is that Unity only charges you money when you have earned $200,000 and you've got 200,000 downloads last year. This is important because otherwise they wouldn't count it into the runtime fee. And that means that if your game is completely free, there's a chance that this policy doesn't affect you. The second reason is that I've saw from the official pages of Unity and also the later posts, they've said that only install on a new device count. So it might not seem so good, but well, still better than charging money every time someone download or re-download your game. Okay, now let's go to the thing to concern. To be honest, when I'm reading the Unity post, I did see some nonsense in what they are talking. And one of that thing is this line. They say they'll try their best not to count the pirated download towards our fee. Well, now I think this is ridiculous because come on. Like if they could do that, they have already solved piracy problem. And there wouldn't be so much pirated software on the internet today. Now the second reason, which is also the biggest reason that concern about this policy, is that they announced this policy out of nowhere. Like imagine you have been developing your game for like 5 years, and when your game is ready to release, you saw this. Yup, this is why so much people are furious at Unity policy right now, although it does not seem so bad. I think it would be wiser if instead Unity give the game devs option to choose counting the fee that will be paying Unity according to the old way or the new way. This just benefits both sides and wouldn't lead to the problem we see today. Now when I'm researching the topic, I found a lot of funny things revolving around this scandal. For example, I just found out that the current CEO of Unity used to be the CEO of EA. Bruh. Well, that explains a lot of things happening right now. But the more hilarious thing I've just discovered is that on a live stream he posted on the internet, he literally said that they have introduced the runtime fee to reduce the amount of money that the game devs had to give Unity. Why didn't you just go with a rev share model from the get-go? So why not just go, hey, we're two and a half percent now or, or half of Epic or, or whatever. Um, why was there a whole install thing in the beginning anyway? We think it's going to be cheaper for a lot of games. We think it's going to be cheaper for a lot of games. Okay, so we have talked about the pros and cons of the Unity runtime phase. So now I'll suggest some of my ideas to get around this policy. Okay, so according to the new update, Unity has now gave you the option to pay them 2.5% of what you earn instead of the runtime fee. This is much better because you could always increase the price of your game by 2.5% to account for this. 2.5% is a really small pay. And to be honest, most of the people would just accept it. For example, the, a game that is $10 would just cost about 25 cents more. And this 25 cents will flow into the Unity pocket. Meanwhile, you can get all the money remain, which is also the actual price of your game. Now my second suggestion, this one is quite smarter. Earlier, I've said that Unity runtime fee only account for games that made more than $200,000 or a million dollars the previous year, and the number of downloads is bad. This means that every year you could totally sell your game up to that point and then stop selling it and then wait for the next year. 
Okay, so it's the end of the video and honestly, I think there's something I should say at the beginning of the video but as say for the last, is that this video is mostly for entertainment purposes only. If you actually have a serious game project in Unity, I really advise you to get another opinion from another YouTuber or another person before you could decide to switch to another engine or not. So that's it for today, goodbye.